Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your reading for November 12th through the 18th. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind this reading might not be for you, especially if you don't believe. If you don't believe, then the reading isn't for you. If you don't believe in tarot cards. The timing is also fluid. Who knows when this is going to resonate or even if it will, right? This is for Pisces. I wasn't intending on doing your reading at this point. I was intending on doing, I had three other lined up, and I just kept on hearing Pisces, 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 and I'm like, oh, jeez, I'm crow. So I went to turn on the camera, and I was set to do the other one, but no, no, we're doing yours. I almost did yours first, too, for this segment. It happened then, too, and I ignored it. So I don't know what that is all about. But I was able to push it down. Mm, page of Wands. Exciting opportunity. You may receive some sort of invitation or some sort of opportunity to go somewhere. You could be receiving an, a, a message that excites you as well. An exciting message from somebody. Oh, but somebody's not happy on their own. Not grateful, lack of abundance. Somebody could be staying with somebody just for codependent reasons, just saying. There is another opportunity for you though, all you have to do is see it. There's an opportunity here, but you have to realize it. And you may be beginning to realize that you're, I don't know, you may, somebody may be with somebody that, for all the wrong reasons, to build their confidence, you know. But there's an opportunity that you're not entertaining. And there's definitely a lack of wish fulfillment and bund abundance here. I mean, I can't pretend, okay. With these both being reversed, it's like, with this one being reversed and this one, these are both, so, there's a lack of closure here for one thing in one situation. So there's something that there's lack of closure because nines are closure. These are both reversed. And this is a card of abundance and this is a card of abundance. They're both reversed. It's, I'm not feeling good where I'm at right now. So somebody is not feeling fulfilled in the financial arena and in the emotional arena. Stability arena. This something is not fulfilling here. And yeah. So we have the Ten of Swords, which is a completion. It's the end. It's betrayal. And the ultimate betrayal. The swords are thoughts. Is, is your mind. That's the ultimate betrayal. Oh boy. We have the lovers here. This is an unexpected choice in love. You could be meeting up with somebody or running into somebody unexpectedly and the sparks fly. The sparks start flying. But then again, there's still a lack of wish fulfillment here right next to each other. Okay, a lot of, you know, people that don't know tarot would be like, well, what do you mean lack of wish fulfillment? Both of these cards in reverse say, no, something isn't good. Something isn't right. There's a lack of wish fulfillment here. In love. That's the, that's the basis of your reading. And this is a choice between two lovers, right? You have to make a choice. And your mind is playing tricks on you.
you it, somebody may be beginning to realize where their wish fulfillment lies because this is beginning to realize the five of cups reversed somebody's beginning to realize where their wish fulfillment lies in regards to love but there's been betrayal there's been an opportunity that may have been accepted and that was the betrayal you know you know, codependency issues here. You know, I don't want to be alone. I'll be with the wrong one to say that I don't, I'm not alone. That is betrayal. Not only is it betraying you, it's betraying the other person. It's betraying everybody involved, right? The person that is the wrong one, the person that is the right one, and yourself. It's a betraying. It's the ultimate betrayal. And you don't get a reward for that. Okay, you you don't. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's definitely and with the ten of coins underneath the nine of coins. These cards are both cards of the ultimate abundance. They really are. But there's so much lack of abundance here, lack of stability. It's like. <laughs> The opportunities have been thrown in the garbage. And they're slipping away. They're slipping away. And somebody needs to take action and communicate. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Swift communication right here. Somebody needs to put in effort. There's an opportunity to work together. The very last card, the overall advice outcome is work together. <clears throat> Make compromises. Put in effort. Learn to appreciate each other. There was a lack of appreciation here, but there's an opportunity to work together, but communication is the key. Okay, it is the key. But there's lack of wish fulfillment here, and this is a card of ego. Could be because of ego, could be because of pride. But lack of wish fulfillment, lack of wish fulfillment, and it looks like there's an opportunity that is totally, you know, slipping away. And it's because of some sort of betrayal. Last, there's a lack of faith. There's a lack of faith in love. And, <laughs> I, you know, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. So I feel like this is a one-sided situation. You notice where I put the card. I never know where I'm going to put the card. Now one of these people is covered up. This man, his eyes are covered up. He can't see how much this woman loves him. We have a man that can't see how much a woman loves him. <laughs> and therefore, there's, there's no happiness. There's no growth. Negative thinking, definitely. This, and it's on the man's side. There's a man here that is thinking negatively. And he's not being rewarded. Okay, there's no joke on the key. They, they're, he's not being rewarded for whatever this is. Oh, oh, the Queen of Coins, the Queen of Pentacles, reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Leo here. We have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius up there. This is unhappiness. And this right here is jealousy. <laughs> jealousy, uh, stubbornness, possessiveness. And this guy, this woman is, is jealous and possessive. And she has the golden opportunity in her hands. But you can't fight gravity. If it doesn't get accepted sooner or later, it's it's like I said, it's going to drop away. It it, I'm I, it, as far as I'm concerned, it's it's gone. 
but um, for some of you, this opportunity is still here. It's still here. It hasn't completely slipped. She's still holding on to it, even though it's going down. It's going down. For some of you, it's already ended. This is a completion. It's like this woman is getting ready to drop it. She is getting ready to drop it. Uh, some of you, she's already dropped it. Um, yeah, stuck. Stuck and stuck. Somebody is stuck. All tied up in this situation. Confused. Oh, God. In denial. Somebody is in denial about the truth. Unable to take that mask off and see it as it really is, even though they know how it really is. You know, I'm comfortable here. I'm safe here. I'm safe here. Right here, I'm safe. There's an opportunity for true love. There is. Partnership. I mean, this is a partnership that is being denied. There's a partnership that is being denied. And somebody wants to go back or they're thinking about going back. I'm thinking about going back because where I'm at, I'm not happy at all. I'm serious. And they're beginning to realize where their happiness is or was. But reluctant to offer any kind of love. It's like stalling love. It's like, oh, I'm afraid of love. And this woman probably feels like, I don't want to be engaged with false romance. They were offered, betrayed by an offer that was unreal in the past and she likes reality. So we have a woman that was dealing with a man that was unrealistic and full of shit. Okay, the Knight of Cups reversed. He came offering all kinds of love and it was a complete lie. And now he's probably been engaged with another person and there's no happiness there. He accepted an offer just because he didn't want to be alone. And now he's not happy and he's beginning to realize where his happiness is. And he probably wants to go back but will not go back because of his pride. And maybe he fears commitment. I don't want to, I'm afraid of commitment, marriage. He knows if he goes back, he's going to have to probably, you know, there's going to have to be a commitment. That's the truth. And, but it's about, at this point, it's about being happy. You got to prove yourself or do you want to be happy? That's what this card is. It's the Five of Swords Reverse. Upright is my worst card. I hate it. This is the card that I hate the most out of all the whole deck. Okay. Reversed, it's better. I mean, it's like, okay, I'm not going to let my pride get in the way. At this point, all I want is my happiness back. Underneath the sun, somebody's been in an unhappy situation. They're thinking about their happiness and what they, they want their happiness back. Woo! So, we have a King of Coins. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. Now, you notice this man is right next to this happiness card. He wants happiness. We have a man here that is deciding to mature. He may have matured. Okay? This is a mature man that accepts reality. reality. He sees things, you know, as they are. He's a hard worker. And he has an opportunity in his hand. A solid offer, a solid opportunity. And if you are a woman that's watching this, whether you're a cross watcher or not, there is a man that has an opportunity for you, for love. If you are the man that is watching this, you may be making an offer for, of love because I'm ready. I'm ready. I, I realize where my stability lies. Or, you could be realizing that this woman under here has another opportunity. Perhaps with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Whatever's going on here, there's a soulmate connection. 
We have the King of Coins and the Queen of Coins. That's a soulmate connection. Okay, whether in and, 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 and it could be the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. It could be the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. When you get the King Queen of a of the same suit in the reading, it means that there is a soulmate connection here. But somebody is not making that offer. And the woman in this dynamic probably doesn't trust the offer. So I feel like we have somebody here that, we have a man. We have a man here that is, is probably stepping outside of his ego and headed towards happiness. He's been in denial for quite some time. His eyes are still covered. She's been waiting. This woman has been waiting for her partner, her soulmate, to come back. And he may ready, may be ready to own up to the responsibility. This is the king of responsibility, the king of coins. He is. He's the most responsible king. Responsible, loyal, dedicated, um, generous, uh, stable, secure, solid. Practical and responsible. So we have a man that is about to do the right thing in regards to this woman. This, there's a woman here that is going to get the kiss that she's been looking for. She's been waiting for that kiss. She has. You see, she's waiting for it. She's going to get it. From who? Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Because we have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio right here. It's not taking any action. I don't know who that is. This person isn't... Is fake. <laughs> okay. This, this is false love right here. It's like there's nothing in that cup. The Knight of Cups reversed. And that's how she might feel. She might feel, you know what, there's nothing in that cup. Nothing in that cup. I've been down that road before. Anyway, it looks like somebody is wanting to go back. Afraid of commitment. But I want this happiness. I want this happiness. That's accepting responsibility, right? Taking back their control. Taking back the power. Now, we definitely have a Capricorn here. That is in the mix. There's no doubt that we have a Capricorn here that uh, could steal the thunder. So, um, yeah. Anyhow, um, you have the power to take control of this situation at this time. You do. Post haste with the Eight of Wands. That is no joke. Okay? So, you have the power to restore that's what this is. Take back control. But that's going to mean, that whoever this is, it's going to take maturity. You're going to have to be mature. You're going to have to own up to your actions. You're going to have to be practical. And you're going to have to be responsible. And you're going to have to come with something solid. You're going to have to come with something in your hand. Something I can touch. The time is now. The time is now. There's been a lot of healing. Now Now they're both covered up. Both people in this dynamic have changed. They have. And it looks like the time is now. For something to transpire... But there's still a lack of faith. There's a lot of doubt here. There's doubt that I will be that my offer will be accepted. So there we have somebody here that's doubting that, that an offer will be accepted. Afraid to tell the truth. 
This card is labeled truth in many decks. It's reverse, afraid to tell the truth. And maybe that's why they're stuck. But this man is thinking about it quite heavily. And you guys can try to change it up all you want. This is a freaking man that is thinking about where his heart lies. And the only way he is going to find the love that he likes, that he wants, that's going to make him happy, is for him to step outside of his ego and come with a solid offer. So is it going to happen? Right now he's thinking about it. This man is thinking about it. He is. And he's afraid. He's afraid to, to that it will turn everything, his life, it will turn his life upside down if he makes this offer. He's afraid. He's, he really is. He's afraid to take that step. He's afraid. He's indecisive at this point. <clears throat> and you know what that indecisive is going to get you? Nothing. It's, it's going to cause a death. It's going to cause an ending. So maybe it's the end. Maybe it's the end. Endings bring new beginnings, right? So there is an opportunity for a new beginning here. Maybe something needs to end for him to take action. Maybe he needs to make that judgment call to be honest with himself and end something so that he can head in the direction of his heart's desire. Because endings bring new beginnings and somebody has been going through some sort of inner transformation with the temperance card and the death card. There is a, there is a person here, and I think it's the man in the dynamic, I'm sorry, that has gone through a transformation. And I feel like this man is going to come forward with an offer because wherever he's at, there hasn't been any happiness. There hasn't. With the Four of Wands reversed, the Sun card reversed, the Star card reversed, the Nine of Cups reversed, there hasn't been any happiness. There's been a loss of abundance. I'm telling you what. And you guys, especially the men watching this, can be pissed at me and say, no, well, that's your ego talking. And you don't have to like me. I, I don't care. I'm going by what the cards say. I can see a shitload of unhappiness here for a man. And you don't have to own up to it. I don't care. It's nothing to me. And for those men that are watching for the Pisces women, you're not happy either. Your woman with that lover's card has an opportunity. The woman has an opportunity for two choices. Speak now or forever hold your peace. We're at the end of the road. What's that song, The End of the Road? It's by Casey and JoJo, We're at the End of the Road. That's what this is. We're at the end of the road. Speak now. The lover's card is, is two choices. It is. And your woman, the woman in this dynamic is going to get love. Man's, all he's doing is thinking about it. He's just thinking, thinking, thinking. Well, as you think, the opportunity is slipping away. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It's safe. Follow your heart. There's a soulmate connection here that is dying. Because a man 
is afraid of commitment. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Remember I talked about that devil kind? If you are stuck to something and it is holding you back from the love of your life, I'll speak now or forever hold your peace. Because both people are going to break free. You're about to lose out on the love of your life if you don't speak up. Both people, men and women, need to break free of something so that they can come together. However that resonates with you. If you are stuck in a situation, the time is now with that temperance card. Right now. And for those Pisces men out there that don't want to hear this because of their ego, say goodbye. Because you're going to lose. And the person that you are going to lose is about to get committed to somebody else. Speak now or forever hold your peace because you are going to lose. <laughs>